Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And now, we're gonna see what we can do, because there's not a lot that I can think of immediately to do. But let's actually go get probably that, um, Korok that I marked down over here. To start off. Okay, there is a few enemies along this path, I'm pretty sure. But I might just be able to walk past them, or run past them. You know, same thing. A lot of skulls here. Oh, what's that? Hang on, what, what is... Oh, that's a keys, I think. Well, I don't need to worry about keys. There's a treasure chest in there in the ground, but I don't need that either. Oh, they spotted me, that's fine. I don't think there's any silver ones. The silver ones have rare materials like, um, what's, what are they called? They have minerals, usually, so. But none of those are silver bacoblins, so I'm just going to keep going this direction. Oh, and that, oh, hey, look at this area. I remember this area, kind of. It's similar to where we've, a place we've been before, I'm pretty sure. Back when we got the, uh, two rings. Oh, that's a Korok up there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, leave me alone. I just don't, don't, don't. Also, Breath of the Wild 2 was announced, or we had an extra trailer for it. And it's probably going to come out next year, but, you know. Sl small steps. Let me figure out where I am. Um, is this in the center of the map, or is this in... Hyrule, Central Hyrule. Let me check the map. This is Central Hyrule, okay. Let's also get that other Korok down this way. There's a lot of Guardians around this place. Also, I think it might be worth setting the Sheikah Slate, or Sheikah Sensor to Shrine. Get him, please, thank you. Or did I make a mistake in my tracker? I think I made a mistake in my tracker somehow. But that's okay. Oh my goodness, that's a long way up. How do I... Uh, Revali's Gale? That way. I forgot how, how to use Revali's Gale for a little bit, but that's okay. I know how to use it again. You just jump and then hold it down. Okay. Let's go up here quickly. I'm guessing this is actually... I'm not sure if this counts as Central High Rule. I'm going to count it as the Ridgeland area. Okay. Now, I believe if we go over this way, though, there's a shrine for us right next to Hyrule Castle. Let's go take a look at that, then. And I believe it's just over here, which is nice. Makes it fairly easy. We just need to burn all of this away. And then, oh my goodness, get into that cave up there. Oh my goodness, yes, burn. Burn it all. Oh, it's wonderful. Do I have a bomb arrow? I do. Makes it easy enough to open up that cave. Probably could have just used a regular bomb, but anyway. Here's the shrine. I wonder what else is in here. Well, for starters, there's these uh, death barrels. Let's get a few of those. Like that. A <laughs> roasted acorn. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Some more boxes over here. Let me get those. Oh, something fell around the place somewhere. A lot of rupees as well. A few rupees. And some arrows. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I just have to check every single cave because there could be something hidden behind a shrine or something. And I don't want to miss any of those. Anyway, let's head into the shrine.
A minor test of strength. I could have done this ages ago then. I probably don't even, don't even need to change my armor. What am I equipped with? Flame, sword, I'll oh, switch to uh, whatever this is. Can't even remember. There we go. Take this forest dweller sword in the face. Go, 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 go. And done. Don't have, don't have space for the battle axe either. How much attack does it have? More. I'm just gonna leave it. Kind of good on weapons for the moment. Knight's shield. There we go, another shrine. Okay, let's see. I can get rid of that marker now. And I might actually go to that green one up there. I don't know if that's actually anything there, but I want to check. Okay. Let's get walking. Because it's a fair way away. Although, if we're up here, we might better glide down somewhat. Okay. I think this is where I marked it, yes. So is there anything over here that I need to actually worry about? There's some frogs. And there's the choo-choo there. And it doesn't seem like there's much else here. Get rid of that. Yeah, there might not actually be anything here. No, there is. There's a Korok. There we go. Okay. It's probably all that's over here. The monk has gone already because I walked over here. Um, let's head down back to the stable, I guess. Because there's a little bit more to do around here. And there's also that log there that I want to check. Oh, I already checked that log. There's a Korok there. Cool. As long as I've already got the Korok, I don't need to worry. Probably. I want to actually go past the stable and head in this direction. To the ruins. And beyond. Is this rock pile important? I f I'm gonna... Oh, is that a... Yeah, it's a hearty, ra hearty radish. Very nice. Just a little rock formation out here. Okay. Oh, there are some moblins around. Well, they've spotted me. But it shouldn't be that bad. Just passing through. Oh, there's a shrine nearby and I'm going straight towards it. Cool. It's also not beeping at me, which is strange. There's a tower thing over here. I, I think we've knocked down one of these towers once before. But it was a while ago. I'm 
I'm just gonna climb up this tower. Oh, is that a silver? That's a silver. I'm gonna get the silver. Gotta not use bomb arrows if I can. How dare you. How dare you. Oh, there goes that sword. Okay. These guys are still stuck, so I'm gonna take those out, probably. Oh, he set himself on fire! That's impressive. Oh, and there goes Daruk's protection, all in one go. Cool. Doing some good damage to this guy, though. And he should be done. Oh, they actually had a treasure chest. Cool. Let's grab all this stuff and the ruby. And let's... Okay, it's not a thunderstorm yet, but it's going to be soon. So I need to be aware of that. Some topaz. Very productive in terms of money, I guess. Oh my goodness, I just remembered that we need 10,000 rupees. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's get up here. Look at that targeting laser. Oh, cool, there's a bomb up here. Let me th get rid of that quickly before I blow myself up with it. Now where would... a shrine be? Probably up further, somewhere, maybe up there, except it's raining, and it's going to be raining for a while, so climbing isn't really an option. Actually, is that, that could be it there. Does this, do bombs work in the rain? I don't th think so, bomber arrows that is. I might actually be able to get there if I glide with Revali Scale. I think this cave is what I need. Luckily, I can get fairly close and then just drop a bomb. And get in. Yep, here's the shrine. Oh, it's just a reward. I guess I was probably supposed to have a quest to get here. Probably. Silver Rupee. And this one's not in the, um, what's it called region. This is a, uh, this is a Ridgeland region shrine. Well, now that we have that, let's get back up here, and let's go... Let's... Let me, let me think here for a second. Let's go... Oh, I have s options. Let's go to this Ridgeland Tower. Okay, so... Over that way is a gigantic storm. I want to have a look at that, so let's... Let's head in that direction, and because it's a thunderstorm, we should equip anything that's going to get struck by lightning. I think the falcon bows are right, right? I don't know, I'm going to just disable it anyway. And probably switch shield. Okay, let's keep going. Also, I think I want on multiple, maybe multiple of these... Uh, little mushroom-like platforms, I think is Koroks. Yeah, that's a Korok over there, if I can actually get onto it. Um, but it's, it's going to be difficult to find any Koroks on top of these little platforms, because they're just everywhere. Oh, I ran out of Revali's Gale. You who have reached this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. When the four spirits have settled in their places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Trial of Thunder. And I don't know if I can actually...
get up this platform at all. Because, uh, it's raining, and I can't use Revise Gale. So if I slip at all on this, trying to climb up, I have to come back later. But it means I can still just mark this as a Korok that I need to get on the map, which I would be okay. Well, so I think I'm seeing the shadows through the ground. I think. I think they're from on top of the platform. Unless they're just from nearby. Which is also possible. Anyway, it looks like we're getting up slowly. Once we get up to the very tip is when it's going to be trouble. Right up against the edge is where it's slippery. So let me... Don't slide that much, please. I might actually want to... Restore my stamina as well. I think I... Oh, do I want to do that? I should probably use an energizing elixir and not the enduring elixir because the enduring elixir just refills all of my stamina. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave that for now. Let's get up. There we go. And let's get these rocks into place. I'm glad I could actually get up here. It's very good. Do that one there. And this one here, and the last one over here. Cool. Oh my goodness, so many Koroks. But I need more, much, much more. Okay, I guess while I'm in the middle of a uh, a thunderstorm I could wear the oh what's it called? Where is it? The rubber tights. There is more to the set as well, but it's uh it's shock resistant. But uh we're not gonna get sh struck by lightning anyway, as long as I'm not wearing anything met metallic. Which I'm apparently not, so I guess I'm alright, probably. Uh, the, the, the bigger thing that I'm gonna want is actually climbing gear, so. But I've already got that equipped, so. Oh my goodness, I slid so far down. Please reach the top, thank you. You also have to get this orb onto that platform over there, which is a little bit difficult because of all the angles everywhere. So let me just try freezing time on that, and then... Oh, no. Let me see if I can launch this over there. Please. Please be enough. Okay, good. It's a little bit difficult to hit things across and up, because up is the hardest direction to get anything. Anyway, we have these orbs, which look really cool, by the way. I like things that are, like, colourful and glowy, I guess. Or crystal-like. Now, we have four of these orbs to get, and we have to put them into their holes. So the red one goes there. Purple one goes over here, and oh my goodness, lightning. I think the green one is on top of its thing, so I can get that. But the yellow one is over there, I think. Oh, hello, Rusty Claymore. I guess I'll grab that, as long as I don't equip it in the middle of a thunderstorm. Oh, please get up. If you jump after like a few seconds of climbing normally in a, a thunderstorm or rain, you can kind of make a little bit of progress, but it's, it's it has its ups and downs. Anyway, let's drop that in there. And now let's get the probably the hardest one, if I had to guess. Because it's just out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to have to get it up here somehow. Oh, is that a log? I'm going to check the log for a Korok, because I can't resist. There is a few platforms that you can try to get the orbs up, like up to here, and then try to get it up there. But still, you have to worry about slopes and having them roll down. Oh, hello, Tyler's Frog. You'll make a great enduring elixir thing. Okay, there's overlapping logs here. That's great. <laughs> Great. Just overlapping logs. Okay, there is no Korok over here. Which is a shame. I do like this area, though. It's very cool with the thunderstorm always being here. 
Uh, I love rain in video games. Like, I love rain normally, but in video games it's also good. It's actually raining today, so... I'm quite happy with that. Oh, get up. Oh, Link? Please move. You were stuck for a second, that's fine. Oh, is this the actual thing I'm supposed to be climbing? I hope so. It is. Good. Oh, please get up there. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to try and do the same thing I did with the red orb. And try to put it on the edge of this here. Oh, please no. Oh, please no. Oh. Okay, then. Gale is now ready. That could be useful, maybe. I think you can actually get orbs to float in the air if you use a Revali scale and then you can knock it forward. So I could try that, but I'm going to just try and get it up this way instead so I don't waste Revali scale. Okay, right here, and then see if I can make this work, because I don't think it will. Oh, that's the wrong way, that's fine. I need to knock this a whole lot to actually get it up there. So let's just go all out. Okay, it's up there, good. All that's left is for me to get up there. Also, I think there are some... Shockwings butterflies here? Yeah, Thunderwing butterfly. Let me see if I can grab that. This rare butterfly only shows itself when it rains. The organs in its body produce an uh, insulation compound. When made into an elixir, it offers electrical resistance. Again, not that important. Uh in the middle of a thunderstorm, as long as you're not wearing anything metallic. Uh, but it is useful when fighting enemies with electric weapons, so... That's... that's what it's there for, I guess. Same with the armor. Okay, that should be everything. Let's get this orb into its hole. Trial of Thunder complete. Let's go into the shrine. It's probably just a reward. It's not, but I do believe... Oh. Buried secrets. Okay, well... I can do that then. I do believe there is a special reward in this shrine. If I do things correctly. So let's blow that up. One of these chests has something good for us. I just, ha just have to figure out which one. This one! Rubber armor! This armor has built-in electricity resistance. Thanks to its source material. It's ancient marvel... An ancient marvel called rubber. Such technology does not exist in this modern age. Sure. Okay then. There's still more... Treasure to find. And a lot more of these things to explode. Oh my goodness, that's going to fall down in a minute and that's going to be okay. That just collapses. There is a switch back here that we need to press with something. And I hope I can do it without these blocks because I'm blowing up these blocks. Bo blocks. So I hope I don't need them. <laughs> Might leave these ones there. Let's get this. I'm pretty sure that this metal block can just do it all by itself, right? Right? Surely. Yeah. That opens up the end, but we still need to get another treasure chest somewhere. Get up there, Link. Do it. Do it good. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Let me just put that there and then go back over here. Okay. I'm up here, but now I'm in trouble because I don't know where the other treasure chest is. Okay. Let me head back down then. Oh, and there's nothing back here, maybe? It's not on the side platforms. Is it down there? No. So maybe it's over 
here. Possibly. Or possibly the other box I didn't try to break because I didn't want to ri risk missing out on stuff. It's also possible that there's something metallic that I need to move. Actually, there's a thing up there. Uh, that might be a problem. Also, this might be a problem. I might be in trouble. <laughs> I might have messed up a fair bit. Let me grab this and then... Ah, take this. Take this. I said take this. Do it. Okay, well I got the this treasure chest down. Let's open that up. Opal. And that's all the treasure chests in the shrine. Nice. Now we just need to get out of here. Up the stairs that I broke. So I'm going to use this block and then... Move it around if I can from up, from up here. There we go. Somehow I managed to fix everything. Okay, it's still a thunderstorm out here, but I'm okay with that because it it's nice to have this constant, oh, everlasting thunderstorm. Okay, let's um go somewhere else. I want to check out this rock. I don't know if there's a Korok here or a shrine here, but we were told to go there at some point to see what it was there, so I might do that, and also... I think there's something else in the middle of this area that I want to check out at some point, so I'm going to put a marker there. So I think starting off now, let's just teleport a little bit closer. Actually, I might be a, a little bit wrong and a little bit right at the same time. Let me look at this. Yeah, I think I need to go there for something at some point. Probably not now, but well, things could happen. Things, th things could change. So let's go up that way. If I can figure out which way is that way. Probably should have got it um, a horse out to actually get up this way faster. Also, I think that mountain up there is not where we're going. I think it's up there. Further that way. Yeah. Since we can actually see the mark- the, the markers by zooming in like that. That's so cool. Wish I could see those without having to be in my- my zoom thing. I love the way that it has the Chica text flowing up from it as well. Okay. These keys really want to go through the ground. Got a few of them. Get some free monster parts. Could be good. Is there something over here? No, it's just part of the landscape. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, my goodness, they're back. And here's some more enemies. Because obviously I need more enemies attacking me. This is a cool looking place. I feel like there should have been like a pond here or something. But there, there isn't, sir. Also, I might want to start climbing a few of these things so I can actually see what's on top of them. If anything. Nope, nothing. <laughs> There's just so many of them, so you just don't even know. I can hear a familiar sound, though. And there could also be something you can't see 
Oh. 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 Hang on. Go fast. <laughs> this is actually the most perfect timing I've ever seen. But also kind of the worst timing. Because I want to actually talk to... The guy up here first. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Stamina thing. Jump, 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 jump. Go faster. Faster. When the moon bleeds. If that's any kind of hint. Oh, excuse me. Was that a bit rough on the ears? Ah, oh, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it, and let's hear it quickly. Give me the fast version. Full tempo. Excellent, without further ado. When the moon bleeds and the uh, fiends are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal, pedestal bare, with nothing between you and the night air. Hmm. When the blood mo when the moon bleeds, I wonder what that means. May the light illuminate your path. Okay, let's go. We have to stand on this platform. And we need to not have anything equipped. So let's quickly remove. Okay, that's already been removed. Remove that. Uh, let me just do that so I can remove it faster. There we go. Oh my goodness. I was expecting to miss this, but I can't believe that the timing was so perfect that I got here at the Blood Moon. Also, the first time I did this, I had people watching me, and I did it a second, a split second before the Blood Moon went away. Because the... I made the shrine appear, and then a split second later, because it was all crazy, and then the cutscene happened. And that's when the cutoff happens. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I made it in time. I guess I did have plenty of time, but since it's still going up now. But yeah, the first time I was up here was the sky was all doing its thing and the blood moon was just about to happen. But anyway, I guess that's also it for this episode of Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. So I'm gonna say goodbye and then I'm gonna let this blood moon go past. It was like this part when I was gliding over here. Wow, I had so much extra time this time than I realized. So it was about here when I got this shrine to appear my first time. But anyway, that is it, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.